Laura's delight vanished when she saw Tom's ring. It was a delicate gold band with a little diamond. It bothered her, so she glanced aside. She'd always gotten expensive gifts from everyone except Tom. Can't he make an exception this time? Laura saw a life partner in Tom eight years ago. He was resourceful and ambitious for himself and them. She knew he wanted to marry her despite his silence. Hers. She had to hide her disappointment on the day. High school sweethearts Laura and Tom. She cheered and he played in the school band. Laura chose Tom despite her friends and family's expectations. He was her ideal boyfriend. He was funny, talented, and a swimmer. Why would he do something terrible eight years later? Laura had both parents, a nice house, and great siblings. As a lastborn, she was pampered. Tom was different. He was the firstborn in a poor family. He cared for his mother and sister. Tom split his time between school and family. Cancer treatment kept his mother hospitalized. Tom and his sister became self-sufficient. Tom excelled academically despite these challenges. He had a life plan, unlike most of his classmates. That attracted Laura to him. Laura dated Tom in high school and college. Their love grew over time. Laura opened a bar and grill back home, and Tom was studying to be a surgeon in a different town. They managed despite their different worlds. If you like my videos, don't forget to like or subscribe. Thanks in advance. Tom's mom had died, but his sister was almost finished with college and happy. Laura's family stopped spoiling her. She earned everything. Then the event would threaten to split them. Tom called Laura while she was cooking dinner to say he'd driven back to town and was at the bar. Since she'd closed for the night, the news surprised her. She happily put on a felt coat and drove to the bar. Arriving, Laura was astonished. A scene melted her. Her counter was covered in candles. Then the jukebox played her favorite song. Tom was kneeling, smiling, when she turned around. Tom would propose that night, and Laura would accept. But as he put on the engagement ring, something unexpected would fire within her. Laura's happiness immediately leached out of her body as her eyes registered the ring Tom was putting on her. A tiny diamond was attached to a thin gold band. She looked away, hating that it irritated her. Tom never gave her expensive gifts. She thought he'd make an exception this time. An engagement ring means more than marriage to many people worldwide. The other person cares enough to get you a rock that shows the world you're their everything. As Laura stared at the ring, she wondered if she'd wasted the last eight years of her life with a man who seemingly didn't care about her outlook. She considered breaking up with him for the first time as he smiled with tears. Tom rose and kissed Laura. She tried not to recoil and hid her feelings about the ring. Didn't she deserve a better rock after all they'd built? She posted her grievance online. She wondered if she was overreacting. She used social media under a blanket. Fiancé proposed with a white gold diamond solitaire ring. I was so happy and excited to accept but was disappointed when I first saw the ring, Laura wrote on Reddit. She wrote the post to get new ideas. She never expected the responses. The first word that entered my head was, small, Laura's post continued. Just her opinion. The type of ring isn't bad. A diamond solitaire would have been my choice, but it's the whole thing, the color of the gold, the setting, the small stone and relatively chunky shoulders, she complained. Her next post broke the internet. His usually generous. Laura continued, having seen the receipt I know he paid $5,000 for it, unaware of her tone. He spent a lot less than I expected on such a significant piece of jewelry. I'll disappoint him more by fussing. Netizens gave her the ring after she clarified the price. Do I live with a ring forever I'm not that mad about or do I talk to him about it again, she asked Redditors. Responses poured in. Her post was unpopular. One commenter wrote, I would try and appreciate the fact he bought you a beautiful engagement ring and you love each other. It obviously concerns you a lot, if you weren't shallow it wouldn't. 
other users would be less kind. You are spoiled and ungrateful and you have come to the internet in the hope that you will find support in validating your ungrateful selfish attitude, one Reddit user snarled. Do you realize how much your attitude would upset your fiancé? He spent a stupid amount of money on a ring and you're moaning because it's too small and you don't like it. You're ungrateful. The myth about how much to spend on a ring could have been used for a mortgage, deposit, etc. Be grateful, another user said. Don't act like a spoiled brat and either split up or love the ring as much as the person it came from but don't moan about it. I think $5k is wasted. Some agreed with Laura. I don't blame you, you can't help feeling disappointed if it's not exactly what you expected fantasized about, one said. The Reddit user added, you will hopefully be wearing it forever so it needs to be right. Is it still returnable? If you can't, reset it because the setting makes a big difference. I know all the people giving you a hard time about the size of the diamond and that, like it doesn't bother me and I get where they are coming from, another said. But I also get it from your point of view because I know how I would feel having to live with something I wasn't keen on. Some gave Laura advice while most called her entitled and a few agreed with her. Confused. You weren't involved in buying the ring. I'd take it to a jeweler, preferably the one who made it, and see if they can fix it. Your fiancé is bound to feel a bit hurt, but he'll get over it, the helpful Redditor advised. All the responses, good and bad, overwhelmed Laura. She felt compelled to explain herself to the haters. Her criticism hurt. She wasn't being self-centered, right? She. I promise I'm not shallow or fickle. I'm working class and love my fiancé, she wrote on Reddit. But I'm struggling to get past this and being so destroyingly honest in hopes of getting good advice. She continued. Laura added, I fully agree it represents love and the fact is ask me to be his wife, and I absolutely can't wait to marry him. It's personal taste. If I spent $5,000 on a watch I wanted him to wear every day and he wasn't interested, I'd feel awful. I would want him to wear something he loves and I would feel better knowing I've spent the money on something he can cherish and adore, not look at and secretly wish it was something else," she concluded. That makes Laura's feelings clear. She was in a very awkward position. She's right. Laura didn't anticipate her Reddit post's controversy. Netizens mostly said, marriage isn't about the ring. When the ring outweighs the man. Another wrote, I feel terrible for him. I'd never tell my partner I hated a ring they picked out. I'd wear it proudly. Laura disagreed. After reconsidering, Laura said, I'm well aware that marriage is more than a ring, a proposal or a wedding. But I think it's something that women think about for years and years, and when it doesn't go the way you envision it, naturally, you're disappointed, just like anything else in life. She was still unsure. Laura's story and response gave her perspective. One reaction confirmed her anger at Tom. However, the other advised her to focus elsewhere. Laura realized something she'd always missed as she went to bed. Laura noticed after midnight. In eight years, she and Tom had accomplished a lot. He inspired her to achieve everything she had. She remembered telling her family about opening her bar. Only Tom believed she could. There was something more important. Laura examined her surroundings. Their home was cozy and she was well. Her fiancé makes it all possible. He had terrible taste in rings, but his advice improved their lives. Tom went above and beyond to give her her dream life. Would a ring make her leave? Laura shook Tom awake and discussed the ring, as she always did when she was upset. Tom replied simply. He thought their life was more precious than any diamond. He apologized for the ring size, saying he'd asked the jeweler for something antique and regal. He promised to return it for a bigger one, but Laura said she loved hers. She learned that the simplest things are best. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again in the next video.